Hello, it's Collector Sleuth here, and today I have some more Nightmare Before Christmas Disney Store Snow Globes. Uh, these are from 2008 to 2011. And let's do the 2008 one first. So this is what is called a double bubble because it's got a, um, a snow globe on top of another snow globe. So that's really cool. All right, this is actually one of my favorite snow globes. Uh, the colors on it are just really, really vibrant. Uh, I got a really pretty purple down here. Um, the colors on the characters look really good. You got shock and lock in the bottom there. And you have barrel on the top. And you got a jack-o'-lantern here, and Zero, Sally, and Jack are also featured on this snow globe. And on the back, you got these really nice vine work uh, going through here with a lot of shading in it. And you got Jack's coattails kind of blowing back here. So a lot of detail in the snow globe. It's very, very nice. Very well done. And this snow globe is interesting because it actually plays a different song. Pretty much all the snow globes play either What's This or This is Halloween. This one actually plays um, Kidnap the Sandy Claws, which is really cool. So we're going to turn this on. So that's really cool that this actually plays a different song. Um, I'm going to light it. I don't know if this lights up or bubbles. We'll find out. Okay, so it needs batteries in it. So let me grab some batteries. Okay. It's a good idea not to leave batteries in your items um, unless you change them frequently because uh, of the corrosion issue. Oops. Get them in there, right? All right, let's see what this does. Okay, so I, I hear a blower, and it actually works. Yeah, a lot of the blowers on my snow globes uh, aren't working, but this one is actually working, so that's good. It's blowing around some bats in there. It's actually blowing up pretty good, and it's not super noisy, so that's good. I'm snowing. It's a really, really cool snow globe. Be nice if it lit up or or something. I guess it really doesn't need to. Um, but it, yeah, it's pretty cool. Plays a different song and uh, has a blower in it that actually is functional, which is good. And I actually rarely use my snow globe, so I don't know why my blowers are no good anymore. I guess over time they just um, go out. So there is that one. The next one is from 2009. So I'm going to move that one over here. Okay. Be very careful with this one over here. All right, so we call this one uh, bedtime. So anyway, uh, it's got Jack in his pajamas, pajama Jack here in his bed, reading Rudolph. It's got a little tree, a little Charlie Brown looking tree over here with the, some bulbs on it and some books on the floor. And there's his bed posts. We got Zero in his bed with the candy cane, very cute. And a stack of books here. And then inside these little mini globes, we have a bear and some other Christmas goodies. Um, there is a line of Disney auction snow globes that also it has this style. They have the what's called a mini globe style. And um, this is the first Disney store snow globe I saw do that on this scale. You know, a big snow globe with mini globes. Usually there's three mini globes. This one only has two. Um, sometimes there's more than three, but it's usually at least three. But this one has two of them. And so this is really cool. I mean, a lot of detail in this snow globe. Very big. 
Now it doesn't do anything. There's no music, no lights. I don't think there's any music. Let's see. No, there's no winder. So no, no music, no lights, um, no blowers or anything like that. It's pretty much like a, a figural type snow globe here. So very, very nice. Lots of detail on this, like all the, the book pages and it's a nice looking jack on this one. In 2010, we have, let's move you out of, move him out of center here. 2010 is this Happy Everything snow globe. So anyway, this one has the holiday doors, which is really cool. Um, I like anything that's holiday door related. Uh, so this is really neat. And they also changed the leaves at the top. Um, I think the, let's see, the Halloween one doesn't have any leaves on, on the tree. So anyway, let's start with Halloween. And these little doors are on hinges, and so they do open. So inside is lock, shock, and barrel. And then Christmas. It's got a couple elves in there. Thanksgiving. Turkey. Cute. Um, Easter. A little Easter bunny. Poor leaf plover. Um, yes, yeah, four, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, good. That's St. Patrick's Day. A little leprechaun. Oh, that one's already open. This is a uh, Valentine's Day. Got a little Cupid in there. Didn't like to shut. Well, Fourth of July or Independence Day. And some fireworks. So pretty cool. Then on the uh, the inside of the globe part, at the top here, we have um, Jack playing fetch with Zero in the woods. There's his rib in his hand. And let's see what this thing plays. I don't think it takes a battery. Oh, it does take batteries. I don't know what it does. It might light up. I don't remember quite what it does. This snow globe is from uh, 2010. From the Disney store. As I said, yeah, it's a blower. Now this floor I don't hear at all. So that's really nice. Oh, and it, it rotates on the inside. Okay, so this is, what's this again? Like I said, most snow globes play either this is Halloween or what's this. Um, with the exception of that one that plays the uh, Kidnap Mr. Sandy Claus. So that was really cool. That one actually played a different song. Pretty neat there. So the blower seems to be working on this one as well. Now, unfortunately, the switch is on the bottom. I like it when the switches are on the side. It's easier to get to. Okay, so there is that one. Very cool. And the next one is um that i have is this double-sided uh jack kind of bust snow globe now this one i don't know the year i wonder if it says it says disney direct so you could figure out you know when the disney store was called disney direct they went from like disney store to disney shopping disney direct um back to disney store now shop disney so i mean it, they've changed their name a few times at least the online store has so um so that one is under uh disney direct so this is pretty cool. Uh, it's very nicely detailed and shaded on the, um, the the suit. And then we got one face of Jack on this side and one face of Jack on this side. So very cute. Now there are some Disney bus snow or uh, Jack bus snow globes like through Walgreens. Um, 
they're not quite in my opinion as nice as this one i think uh the disney store one is nicer though in size they're about the same so really cute snow globe doesn't do a whole lot but it's it's cute and then i also have from 2010 is this uh trick or treat it's a little snow globe box which is kind of interesting it's the first time i've ever seen them make a snow globe into a box for nightmare at least and this one is also called now this one's called disney shopping so I don't remember which came first, director shopping, but um, this one's Disney shopping. And now inside, you can see my uh, candy corn is starting to pe the paint on it starting to peel off or crackle, um, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's just the nature of this thing. So, and then we got bats on the inside. So Jaxie, I'll just uh, up next to this candy corn, and then if you look inside the box, and this box is like a pleathery material. So it's really, really nice. And that's what the bottom of this looks like. It's really cool. So it's like a uh, snow globe trinket box. So interesting, a little different. And the last snow globe I have is from 2011. Now this is like the last uh, Disney store. Um, now Disney Parks has done some snow globes since this one, but for, as far as the Disney store is concerned, this is the last one I can think of that they've done. They did it twice. This one I got from 2011. They also re-released it in 2013 for the 20th anniversary. And they just changed the box and they put 20th anniversary on the box. And so I didn't bother buying that one because of the box change. It's the same snow globe. So anyway, here is this one, and I do like this one a lot. Um, we got Jack and Sally on the inside with um, a uh, the spiral hill behind them that's snow with snow on it. It's got the snow on it, and so that's really cool. Let's see. Sometimes there'll be a blower in the winder, but okay. So it also plays with this, and then down here you kind of have a holiday door concept because you have the um, items from the holiday doors, but unlike this one where it has the tree with it. Uh, this one does not. So we got the Halloween, uh, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Christmas, Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, and Fourth um, of July. So that's pretty cool. Wait, is Christmas on here? Whoa, where's the Christmas one? I got. There it is. I was gonna say. Yeah. Okay. So pretty neat and then you have this uh, rest in peace looks like a little uh, tombstone down here it says nightmare for Christmas in this uh, middle piece here so very very nice snow globe we got zero here on top you kind of so very cute and I think Jack and Sally actually look really good for uh, characters inside the globe I think they did a pretty nice job on them and you also have icicles back there on the hill if you can see them from the back you can see them and there's even fencing or um, a half wall there with a jack-o-lantern on it so very cool very nice snow globe and this one does say Disney store on it so anyway guys uh, that is all the snow globes uh, for this video um, you can uh, go ahead and check out my other videos for the other ones and I'll probably do a video on the Disney auctions snow globes in the near future as those are really 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 nice and I hope you enjoyed this video I thank you for watching and check back for new content